Just thinking about it, uh, is, this, is this the first book that you've written? Ah, yes. Yeah, it seems like it's uh, long overdue because you have uh, your playing days. How long have you been out of the game actively? 76 for my last year. Yeah, so uh, yeah. normally guys would have a book right out. Why did you wait so long to write a book? Well, I wanted to give people a chance to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you that's know, what that, I've been that, doing. That, Dave, you know what? Uh, this is your, this is, uh, I was on your third show, you remember? That's right. Many this years 1, ago. 1,339. Yeah. And you right. finally decided to have me back. <laughs> thank well, thank you for coming back. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a, the baseball season hasn't started yet, and there's already a lot to talk about. Uh, Bo Jackson, an injury to his hip. The Kansas City uh, Royals announced that they're waiving him mm -hmm. for unconditional release. What, uh, what, what, how does that make you feel as a former ball player? Well, I don't know enough about the Bo Jackson to give you an intelligent answer. The only thing I can say, I think Bo has been blessed. Mm -hmm. He's played two sports and been very, have really been good. Yeah. And done very well in both right. sports. So I think he's played much longer and has done much better than I had anticipated. Yeah, but by comparison, certainly to you, you played, what, 25 years? 23. 23 years. Here's a guy who has been in the major leagues how long? Four or five years at the well, you know, we have We have quite a few athletes nowadays are playing multiple, what they call multiple sports. You yeah. know, yeah. uh, Deion Sanders, who is in our camp now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Who's that's right. Excellent. Same deal. Yeah, sure. done yeah. well. Done well. You know, Bo Jackson has been blessed because he really has had a football body and played a little bit of baseball. That's right. Really, that's to be right. honest with you. Yeah. Because last year, I think he went out with a hamstring. But uh, he's done quite well. Yeah. And do, you, do you think it was a, and it's hard just to put words uh, for his actions, but do you think it was a conceit to his ego to continue to play two sports? No, I don't. I think that he was blessed. I don't think, you remember Gene Connolly used to play with the the Boston Braves and the Milwaukee Braves. No, no. Well, that was before your time. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, you know, Gene Conley was blessed. You know, he was a he was a Boston Celtic, mm -hmm. played basketball, and pitched for a long time with the Boston yeah. Braves. Mm -hmm. uh, some some athletes are blessed with the body. Now, you know, Bo Jackson, of course, uh, he has the body to play football. And you'll notice he has a huge thighs. And last year he he was he was he was hurt quite often. Yeah. Yeah. And this year, of course, he pulled that hip. And, uh, well, and, I think uh, everybody hopes that what, whatever the injury is, if, if it keeps him out of one sport or the other, at least he could come back and, and play. Right, right. Probably and, baseball. We'd and, like to see him come back. And, and I don't know whether he's, whether this injury is going to keep him out of both yeah, sports yeah. or not. You know. I play two sports, you know. Did you? Yeah. Cricket, cricket and what else? No, 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 no. <laughs> High lie and fly fishing. <laughs> it's the same, same motion. It's easy on your... Uh, um, Jim, now Jim Palmer, here's a guy, he's about your age, Jim Palmer, and he's coming back. What was the deal on that? The only thing I just don't have is body. I can't wear the underwear else like you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think, not here, not here. I can't, I really can't say whether Jim Palmer was actually trying to come back. He done well, you know, but it's kind of hard, uh, David, to go out of, no matter what it is, baseball, basketball, whatever yep. it is, and stay out for five years and decide that you want to come back and, yep. and resume it. the same career. Yeah. It's just tough. I, th I think the, the tough part of it is the staying away because you, you've right. got to completely shift the emphasis, the focus of your life. That's I mean, true. since the, the time you're a little kid in Little League Baseball, many people, the lucky few, yourself included, mm -hmm. uh, are directing themselves toward a career in professional that's, that's, athletics. That's and then true. when suddenly that changes maybe against your desire, mm -hmm. then it's got, it's got to be very, very tough psychologically. So. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people have asked me whether this was a gimmick on Jim Palmer. I think he was sincere. I think he was also. I really do. I yeah. believe he's yeah. sincere. I think he wanted to come back. I think he really wanted to come back and have a resume his career. Yeah. It just so happened that uh, Mother Nature caught up with him. You know, you know as I'm uh, sitting here talking to you, I'm, I'm st uh, struck by the fact that uh, baseball's been around for 100 years, 120 oh, yes, years. Yes, yes. Long, long time. Right, right. And, and who are the true legends of the game that will be talked about and remembered for another hundred years? And you certainly would be one of them. Well, thank you very much. Um, did you...
in, in all of the time that you were playing, uh, did, were, were there guys who had your number? Were there pitchers you couldn't hit? Was, was there one guy or a couple of guys or a team that, that dominated you for no explainable reason? You know, that will pitch you probably a lot of your audience and probably you're not going to even remember is uh, Kurt Simmons. Kurt Simmons. Kurt Simmons yeah. was probably the toughest, on, toughest pitcher on me mm -hmm. that I can think of. Left-hander? He was a left-hander. Yeah. And he threw, at, at one point in his career, threw very hard. Uh, then later on, after he had his toe injured, he'd start throwing a lot of junk. Mm -hmm. But he gave me a lot of trouble. Well, the rest of them, we had an understanding. <laughs> uh, the book, uh, I really think, Hank, this is a long time coming. Uh, it's uh, the Hank Aaron story it's called I Had a Hammer, and it must have been fun to write this, huh? It is. And you, you know, David, the thing I like about this book, it's not a base, typical baseball right. book. Yeah, there's some more, recipes in here. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, we have to do a commercial. We'll be back here.